Hey, 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 this is Seagrove, and we're here today with John Ng, one of the um, high-profile masters uh, aging up from seniors for the first time this season. Um, John, if you want to just tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm about to be a sophomore in high school. Um, I've been playing competitively for about six years now. Some of my more notable accomplishments are top eight at Worlds in 2015, top four at Nats in 2014, and getting top 16 at both Nats and Worlds in 2016. Okay, wow. Um, yeah, and this is my last year in seniors, so I'm just trying to finish big. Uh, I got a top eight at Nat, uh, in Internats a couple weeks ago. Congratulations. Nice. Yeah. Um, so when did you start playing the game? So in 2010 is when I really first picked up like the general idea of Pokemon, like started playing the video games with my friends and stuff. Uh, we slowly found the card game, and I got more and more interested into it. It. Uh, I went to a Pokemon League in at like 2011, and I went to my first major event, which was a Cities in 2011. That slowly, like, I gained interest more and more. So I went to actually made a huge step. I went to Worlds in Hawaii in 2012. I didn't even have my invite. It just seemed like a cool family vacation, and okay. I competed in the last chance qualifier. Uh, I didn't make it in. I lost in round two. But after that, I kind of knew, all right, I, kinda, I want to pursue this. I want to keep going. Okay. It started getting a lot more serious in around 2014 when I first aged up into seniors. Because my mom gave me that talk right when I aged up from junior. She was like, you might not do as well, something, something like that. And then I was I was actually doing well. And then I was like, okay, I think I'm good at this. So I want to like keep going. So that's when I really got serious. Okay. And um, I understand that you had a mentor-mentee relationship uh, uh, with Rahul. Uh, when did that start? Um, Rahul has really been there since the beginning honestly like uh when i first started he lived in virginia i i live in maryland so we pretty commonly see each other at tournaments so okay. he was someone that i became really fond of we became good friends and he's helped me out ever since okay when you got into the game how long did it take you to become a good player was it when you aged into seniors or well okay so i picked the game up pretty fast like i understood the concepts and i was like decent for a while um I guess I'd say when the, my first year in seniors is when I started getting good at the game. I had gotten my world's invite in 2013 in juniors, but I was kind of just like meh that year. Okay. But in seniors is really when I like rocked it off. Um, are you on a team? Uh, yeah, I'm on Team C. It's just a group of friends. N nothing like a sponsorship or anything, but right. yeah. And um, are you going to be continuing with that as you go into masters? And are, is everyone from that aging up or a large portion? Um, most of them are actually masters right now. Actually, I think all of them besides me are uh, okay. the youngest one in the group. So you'll definitely be continuing on with that? Yeah, for sure. Cool. Um, you already mentioned some of your accomplishments. Um, did you have any high regional finishes? Um, this is actually one of the funny things uh, about my years in seniors. I've never won a regionals. So most players hold against me. I've gotten second place once okay. in 2015. I have too many top eights and too many top fours but i mean okay yeah well that's that's very good what are some of your strengths um compared to other good seniors about your level and what are some of your weaknesses compared to them as well i think i'm definitely a better player than i am deck builder um i usually have struggle struggle with deck building i have a lot of good friends like other seniors like connor peterson people like finnegan lynch and stuff like that who helped me out with my lists a ton uh, but yeah, that's mainly like the general thing. I'm like in game play. I'm a lot better at that. Okay. Do you think you're going to continue playing through high school through college? That's a hard question because uh, junior year in high school is really important. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to focus more on school then. But um, I definitely think I'll still be involved in the game, whether it's not going to a few tournaments or something like that. I don't see me like full out like quitting, quitting in the near future. But I don't. One year at a time. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Do you have any shout outs that you want to give? Uh, yeah. Just shout out to my team, Team C. Shout out to all my friends who've helped me throughout this year. It's been amazing. And uh, yeah, that's about it. All right. Very cool. Um, watch out for John Ng as he's coming in to Masters this year. Hey, hey, hey. It's Seagrove. And now we're here with Sydney Morisoli, who is also a rising master. And um, she's rated in the top 20 of CP. So if you want to introduce yourself, say hey. 
Hi, um, I'm Sydney. I've been playing for 10 years. And today's your birthday. Oh, yes. <laughs> so happy birthday. Thank you. So obviously you're a very skilled player now. Did you grow into that skill or did you find yourself at that level right away? Well, I started going to a league when I was five, and obviously I wasn't that competitive back then. I just started with the theme deck and worked from there. Okay. I adapted it to Yamato's Lucario deck that he won Worlds with. And then my dad started going on Pokejam and like all the websites and like helped like me connect with people to help me get to the level I was. And I didn't really get a Worlds invite for the first two years until I got second at Nationals in 2011 when I was eight. Oh, wow. And ever since then, I've been getting invites. So I've kind of been growing little by little every year. Okay, so you got second at Nationals. What are some of your other uh, accomplishments? Um, I got second at Nationals that year, and then I top 16 Worlds that year. And then the year after that, I got top 16 at Nationals, top 32 Worlds. And then my last year in Juniors, I got 19th at Worlds, so I just bubbled top 16. Uh -huh. And my first year Seniors, I got a second at Philly Regionals. And I like consistently placed in states throughout my whole Seniors year. Um, I think I won. Yeah, I won one, and then I got second at a few. Um, I've done consistently well at regionals throughout my four years in seniors. I got second at Philly this year, uh, top four at Virginia, top eight at Wisconsin, top eight at St. Louis. I won the ECC last year, which was the European event in Amsterdam, wow. and a bunch of League Cups in cities and stuff. Yeah. All right, that's awesome. Um... Some people have talked about schooling and going into your junior year. Are you going to your junior year as well? I'm going to sophomore year. Okay. And um, is are you planning on continuing playing into Masters League? And what do you think – how do you think that's going to be different for you? Well, I feel like I'm still going to be able to get an invite this year, especially with the no best finish limit or anything. I don't think I'll be able to go for top 16 anytime soon because I just can't compete with everyone with like these no best finish limits with school because it's just really straining to like have to like not miss X amount of days of school uh -huh. or else then I'd be in big trouble. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so can you talk to us about some of the differences between the senior division and the master's division? I feel like in seniors, there are like obviously a lot less of us, but like there are just like when you go to an event, you know who's going to be there and you know who you have to look out for. And you usually just plan your meta against like a certain amount of players, like a bunch that you know are going to be there. But for masters, I feel like you have to meta game against the collective group because anyone can beat you. Like, I'm not saying that in seniors, no one, like you can't just be unbeatable, but you know, there's always like those consistently ranked players there that you always have to look out for. But in masters, there's just like a really wide pool of like just everyone playing every kind of deck. Like at Wisconsin regionals, everyone either played Garbodor or Volcanion in seniors, but there's a lot more diversity in masters. Okay. Um, John Ng talked about his, um, he had sort of Rahul as a mentor. It sounds like your dad helped you out. Did you have an, uh, another mentor or someone that sort of coached you? Um, at my league, I had um, our league owners, Rob Gaylor and his family really helped me out. And um, Ryan Virgil, who used to play, he helped me out a lot. And um, a lot of players from my area, like Jimmy O'Brien, Frank Diaz, Sam Chen, like a lot of them have helped me a lot throughout the years and just a lot of masters. Are you on a team? Yes, I am. We're called Team Wreckface. Wreckface, that's great. Is it primarily seniors or is it um, more masters? It's all masters. I think I'm the only senior at this point. Um, we've been a thing since I was like six-ish. It's like our old league group of testing and everything. Oh, cool. What's your skill set compared to other seniors of your level? It's really hard to diagnose because I feel like throughout most of the year, I've just hit a lot of bad matchups or like not not as any excuse or anything. But I feel like a problem I personally have sometimes is time management. Like okay. I've gotten better throughout the years at thinking ahead or like metagaming or anything. But I think my biggest weakness right now is usually time management. And I feel like all my fellow seniors have always just been very skillful players and I can't really like say what their like weaknesses are because I just can't really tell. Okay. Is there anything else you want to add? Um, just like in general? Yeah. Um, for anyone going into masters, there's no need to worry, honestly. Like everyone feels like masters is just like a whole level of like skill and like there are a lot more skillful players, but you can't just like beat against yourself you know like 
you have to have like the same amount of self-confidence that you've had throughout like all your other years and just be confident in yourself. Very cool. All right. Well, we'll be looking forward to seeing your journey through Masters and um, good luck with the season. Thank you. Hey, 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 it's Seagrove and I'm here with Michael Long, who is going to be a first year Master. Um, he's very, very, very accomplished in the senior division. I believe you're rank one this year. Is that right? Uh, yes. Okay. So, um, let's, why don't you give yourself an introduction and then we'll get started. Okay. Um, hi, my name is Michael Long. I'm from on, um, Ontario, Canada, and I've been playing the game competitively for three years now. Okay. So do you have a team and, um, what's that look like? Uh, I don't really have like a team, but I have like, um, a good group of friends that I do a lot of testing with for tournaments. Okay. In only three years, you've uh, managed to become the top player in seniors. Were yeah, you, somehow. <laughs> were you pretty good as soon as you started, or did it take a while to grow into that skill? Oh, no. Um, when I first started, I think the first regionals I entered was in 2014, and I did, like, terrible. It actually it took me, like, my first year that I started playing, I didn't really have any big accomplishments until, like, near the end of the year where I top eight nats. But even then, that was my best for that year. And I think I started getting a lot better last year. Okay. And what are some of your other um, accomplishments besides that top eight? Um, well, last year I came second at nationals and top eight at regionals. And I also top 16 worlds uh, in um, 2016. And then I've been pretty successful this year as well. Um, I've won two regionals and two intercontinentals. Okay, wow. What do you see as some of your strengths and weaknesses compared to other players? Um, I think one of my strengths, I want to say, is just like just like gameplay and within the game, just like making decisions like based on the board state and stuff. But I think one of my weaknesses is definitely deck building. Like if I didn't have a good group of friends, I don't think the decks that I would make would definitely be the best. So I'm really grateful for the friends that I have, and they help me make like help me perfect the deck list that I choose. Okay, I was wondering about your transition into masters. How do you feel about that, um, and how do you think that's gonna look? Um, I'm honestly like really excited. Like I have my first league cup this coming Sunday, and I'm like okay. really hyped to play with the masters. But I know it's gonna be a lot harder because the skill level in general is gonna be higher than the senior division and so i know that i'll have to like make better calls and uh play to my best any tips you have for other seniors or anything else you'd like to add um well for other seniors i think that one thing that's really important is to find a good group of friends or a team that can help you test because testing by yourself or just over online just isn't very productive and it's good to have other people's insights on your choices and yeah just practice a lot and go to lots of tournaments because when you're really in the game that's when you know like um how do i say it? like you know what decisions to make so it's better to play a lot okay all right well thank you so much for your time and we look forward to watching you uh, succeed in masters all right okay thank you for having me Hey, 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 this is Seagrove, and today we are with Emery Taylor, uh, a new master for the first time this year. Um, Emery, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, uh, my name is Emery Taylor. Um, I've been a senior for the last four years, um, but I've been playing Pokemon for about 12 now. Um, and I'm really excited to be a master and to be here. So thanks for having me. Yeah. Let's talk about your accomplishments. What have you done so far in the senior division? Um, so I've gotten second twice at regionals um, and then another top eight. And then of all the regionals I've been to, I've gotten lots and lots of top 16s. Um, and there's only been three tournaments that I've ever been to um, where I didn't get top 16. Mm -hmm. And one of those I got top 32 and the other two I just did badly. Um, so yeah. Okay. So often I see you on Facebook saying things like, 
did a thing in an irrelevant division or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I know that's a bit of self-deprecating humor, but what do you think are some of the differences between seniors and masters? And um, we'll start with that. Okay. Um, seniors is a really funny division because um, everybody, besides a lot of the top players, play just sort of whips out whatever they want. And so as a result, you kind of, um, especially in my local area and at regionals, you get all these decks which like really have no place in the masters meta, but in the seniors meta, they're like thriving. Okay. And so, um, and so there's a lot of decks where you're like, this deck has no right like being played because it's just bad, but like you end up playing against it just because you're in that division. Mm-hmm. And then there's the obvious ones like you don't have um, nine rounds at regionals. The regionals are much much shorter, um, and it's local tournaments are very very short all the tournaments are very compacted um but i do think um one thing that's sort of like trashed on in the seniors division is sort of like the skill level and i think in masters division um you get like these 500 person 600 person regionals and i think you sort of uh you have a lot more people who are just playing either very casually or poke parents or sort of at that level just because there's so many more players mm-hmm. and as a result unless you're doing very well in the later rounds you're going to be playing worse players um excluding day two of course mm-hmm. um but in seniors you win three rounds and you're playing against like the top the you're playing against very solid players um and it's just lower proportions of everything okay so making the transfer from seniors to masters first of all have you played any tournaments since being a master uh i haven't yet because minnesota hasn't held any tournaments yet okay. um <laughs> i would if i could but um i think all my weekends are pretty filled up um until worlds but i'll definitely be testing with friends in between there so okay and you mentioned testing with friends are you on a team of some sort um well in minnesota we have a team shelf guy um, which is just a bunch of my friends. Um, and I don't know, we kind of have a nice little group, which I test with. Um, and, uh, yeah, a lot of really nice people out there. I go to league and basically test with whoever wants to play like a competitive build against me, okay. uh, level up gains in Minnesota. All right. Is, um, your team primarily seniors or masters? My team is everybody I know is masters uh, or everybody I like play with. Um, I really don't test with seniors unless um, unless I'm like going to regionals with them. Um, sometimes, you know, you sort of go with other families and they'll have seniors. So I'll test with them then. But it's really all with these masters in this group. Okay. And um, how do you anticipate the switch uh, from masters into masters looking like for you? individually um i'm so excited to be a master um because i i can play a straightforward deck and call the meta and do well mm-hmm. um or, or or hopefully that's what i would uh shoot for because in seniors like i've played decks which you like i i go to these regionals and you know i'm either middling or doing very well or whatever but you look at the field and you're like wow these are all like fantastic matchups and then you go to the senior submission, you're like, wow, there are like three auto losses all right next to me, mm-hmm. which aren't even like existent decks. And so I'm very excited to sort of actually have a meta, which is actually like um, discernible. Mm-hmm. Um, and also like another thing is that I'm actually going to have to like test to a sense right. because in seniors it is, you know, whatever you want to play with, you know, light metagaming or light text. But um, at the end of the day, it's you know, just sort of grinding out a couple of matchups, I think will be more helpful to me in Masters. Yeah, for sure. All right, is there anything else you want to add? Um, I'm very excited, as I said, to be a Master. Um, one thing, I guess the, you know, regionals are obviously much, much longer in Masters, and so that's, like, kind of a downside. Mm-hmm. But I think if you get momentum going at regionals, it's pretty easy to keep it going. Um, the point totals are again the same this year and I don't anticipate them being changed, but you know, we'll have to play that by year. Um, but overall I'm glad to 
as you said, a lot of my, all my posts on Facebook, whenever I do well, it's always the irrelevant division. Mm -hmm. And so I'm happy that when I do well, I'll actually be able to like, you know, say, you know, I did well here and it actually counts for something. Um, and all the sort of senior jokes go away, which, Mm -hmm. (laughs) which will be, uh, very enlightening. So yeah, I think that's about it. All right. Well, good luck going forward. And we'll look forward to watching you in masters. (laughs) Thanks so much. Yeah. Uh